Ah, good morning, Saturday morning. We had a really nice time last night for Nanny Di's birthday. And um, today we're gonna go out and take the dogs for a walk. Just have a sort of really just chilled day really with Nanny Di and um, Mark's outside exercising, can you hear him? Mark? Yeah? You all right? Yeah, just these You okay? Yeah, just heavy. Yeah. Oh God, I know I heard in there. I thought you were right. bloody dying. No. You're all right though? I think so. Okay, I won't be long. I tell you what, if he doesn't look like old Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Stop thinking. You know what, if he doesn't look like Arnold Schwarzenegger by Christmas, there's something very unfair in the world. Anyway. It's just that um, it was fine when I've got the two mattresses, one on top of the other, but last night I can feel oh, the floor. Oh, you should have said. You're I'm so bad. Kid. <laughs> that would be awful. No, don't be silly. I've thought before though, occasionally when there's been only that well, one mattress there. No, it, that it wasn't in there because we did that before, but because Maddie had loads of people to stay, she was It's your fault. Oh, that was awful. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You've made us both feel terrible. <laughs> How You're really, really upset now. <laughs> so tell the subs, where is your knee up to? Show the subs your knee. My bad knee? Just show them the scars. Which knee? That knee. This is the one I've got. They both look pretty hideous. Dying. You haven't really got a great knee. Look at that, subs. That's, that's... So talk us through these scars. Where did that one come from? These? Yeah. Those two yeah. that look like uh, Frankenstein's monster. And that one there yeah. was where I, I crushed my knee when I was about 15 in a riding accident. I and thought you did the Frosby flop. And you wanted no. to go riding? I thought you did long jumping. Nan said it was a No, a, an no, no. I kept, I kept having lots of small accidents, but that was the big accident. Oh. Um, so this was an operation it. that was done in the 50s? It broke, yeah. Oh. And that was all they could do. Ooh. And you see that there, oh, subs? Yeah. That there. When I came round and, and they took the plaster off, because there was a plaster, I was 15 at this point. Um, you were pregnant. Well, forget that. There was um, a button there, a button there. And as I, as I did that with my knee, as, I, as, I, as you tighten the tendons yeah. in your knee, the button went in and out. You can see it now. And when they'd got me in the operating room, one of the ligaments was so destroyed that they took a, uh, a thing from one of the nurses' uniforms and put it around the thing and tied it. So you've got a nurse's uniform? No, well then they, when, when it had finally healed, they took the bed enough and pulled it. I felt it come right through my leg, Mark. They used a part of the nurse's garment, to, uniform, to hook her ligament, knee ligament together. So this ligament here, and there was a, no, no, I'm not, I'm not. So that's where you probably oh, got your early addiction to, to prescription drugs, isn't it? You were probably putting oh, heavy sedatives. Oh, for God's sake, you, you Can you be honest with me? Have you ever had electric shock treatment? <laughs> no, it'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> she wants to rub it. Well, don't have to be asking for it for Christmas. Oh, no, that's quite a knee. Yeah, we, well, that's, I haven't even finished. Oh, sorry. That's the old one. Right. But, but then, of course, that did me for a few years, subs, but this was, it was in the old days. Yeah. And then, uh, as I was dancing, flamenco, flamenco, stupid woman, stupid woman, it got worse and worse and worse. And then, as you would testify, Mark, I was becoming almost like lame, wasn't I, with yes. that leg? So then they gave me a new knee, but that was only seven years ago. That's what that line is. Right. But because it was such a mess from the old days, and this wasn't from the accident, so this was years. from the old you're, days. You're it don't, with excitement. No, I know, but this was asking about my knee. Old people are like this. Yeah. But but then, listen. Yeah. In his notes, it doesn't go down as just a replacement knee. It goes down as a concrete replacement. Concrete knee. replacement goes knee. into concrete. It's concrete. A bit of it is because it was so damaged. So you've so, got concrete and metal in your So legs. that's that. So this is the one I'm going to get done soon. Ah. And then I'll be perfect. She's got concrete knees. Well, I'm, I'm not surprised. <laughs> and tell us about your foot. You generated a new foot oh, with your I'm calcium, just, didn't you? Let's see my foot. Let's see your foot. Foot's this foot. is great, guys. We're seeing all of Nanny Di's bits that make her walk oddly. The foot, my foot is, is nasty. Let's have a look. Because this was because... Oh, of... look, your toenails just like mine. Yeah. You've got a bad toe like mine. Yeah, just like oh. mine. I know. 
never yeah. used to have. That's really strange, Mum. I must have got it from you. Look, can you see that? Ow! What is that? Can you see that? Oh my god! Yeah. Can you see where they they cut into it? Yes. There. So that, you created that, calcium. No, that wasn't the calcium. No, no. That was where they cut into my foot, and then they pushed it together because it had so so fallen fallen on itself, and then put two pins in it, metal pins, sent me out of the door, and a year later, one of the pins slipped, oh. and it was agony, and I had to go back in, and they didn't give me a general for that, and it oh. was agony. They had to give me about seven Have locals. Have you seen this, Kiki, her foot? Yeah. Oh. But, you know, Mum, if, they, if you died, Mum, yes. on a trip to Papua New Guinea, yes. and in 75 years you they idiot. dug up your bones, yes. we'd see a headline in the paper saying, new hobbit-like humanoid found. <laughs> And they'd say they had different feet for clawing their way up trees. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. She, yeah. I, I'm convinced she's a hobbit. I'm, I am. I'm convinced you're a hobbit. You're, you're like Bilbo back. Do you remember? Um, a different species. I remember in the 70s, because I was reading Lord of the Rings, it was all very exciting. In my room, due to my mum's connection with dubious individuals, she had a <laughs> piss take book of Lord, of Lord of the Rings called Board of the Rings. Oh, Lord of the Rings. That's yeah. Fair. And I, from, from the age of six, I read it, and it was written so in the style of Lord of the Rings that yeah. it was quite good. Yes, it was. And I remember saying to my friends, oh, I've read this new book, it's like Lord of the Rings. And they said, Who, what's the name of the Hobbit in it? And I said, Dildo Buggins. <laughs> oh, it wasn't God. Bilbo Baggins, it was Dildo oh, Buggins. How old were you? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> and, I remember, I, and I remember placing the book on the mantelpiece like it had burnt me. And looking at it like that for oh, years. Yeah, I know, dildo buggins. <laughs> okay, I've you said it enough times. <laughs> that was a big deal, that book. I know. Yeah. yeah, such a big deal. You put it in my room. Well, I thought you were into Lord of the Rings. I was, but not that sort of Lord of the Rings. What rings? Oh. <laughs> What's your most hated thing to be left to wash up? I'll do it when I get no, out no, of No, 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 no. This is for the subs. I want a comment below because... Some people it's a grill pan, some people it's a garlic press. Mine is this. When it's been left to soak, but at least it's been left wait, to soak. only up to here, <laughs> so this bit still has to be scrubbed. <laughs> if you're gonna leave it for 24 hours, I'll at least the fill the bloody thing but up. Can I, can I just now do my- I've got to make my smoothie stuck on. Leave a bowl of oats in there. Yes. Or, and who's the only person who eats oats? Oh yeah, me, sorry. Can I just say, I really hate the way everyone in this house claims to want to stop climate change, and all of you, bar me, leave lights on in every I room I all the time. I you said you were going to turn everything off, left every light My mum came downstairs. <laughs> I didn't switch your lights on. I leave only the red light on to, to dissuade burglars. That was my mum and they were off no, when I went I to bed. <laughs> you <laughs> must have done because I turned them off. I, you did she not. Was not turn anything off. This is, I'm being you framed. Turn anything no. Just go up to bed, don't worry. Look at that's classic you. Every day of your life you leave lights on everywhere and the la one night you can possibly so grab me. Everywhere. Get your voice out. Yeah. Oh, it's got lights on everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. You oat bowl. That's not mine. I didn't have any oats. I haven't had them. They're here. Oh, okay. We need. <laughs> we need an investigation. Yeah. Can anyone see oats? Wet oats. Oh, that's I've that just bowl. used it. Thank you. Yeah. And oh you my god. Right, well, I'm gonna have a shout. Suddenly, I've become framed for everything. Framed. Right. Right. What have you got? Every five weeks, I get on bended knee in so that shower, in it, that shower, and I put my it. hand down the slimy hole, oh down the slimy Mark, hole, to I pluck all of your hairs it. out of that, and I they come out. I am literally 
And it's just a lob and no one else does it. 17 years I've been doing it. If you dare, just because in the last two months you've done it. Yes. Have you done it for 17 years? Nearly. No. Have you ever scrubbed the toilet with a toilet paper? Nearly. No. <laughs> with a no. toilet? No. Have you ever washed the bathroom floor? I have. Floor? I, no. I've only... Have you ever washed the shower glass? No. I've only Don't ever... Don't start this one. Your hair Don't gets stop. everywhere. Don't As does your chewing gum. Stop. As do your eyeballs. Go and have a shower. Hang because on. this spoon is very close to your face. <laughs> I have cleaned the toilet once with a, to to with a toothbrush. Years. No, 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 but unfortunately I never told you it's your automatic brush. Okay. We're just Go in the park the walking the dogs. It is just Nan is talking about long. drinking it's, it's so and being old. That you have to work incredibly hard all the time to stay a bottle. And I'm not a depressive at all in any, in any respect. So if I know how difficult it is to lift myself above well, the line where you just get to be complete pain. Um, it's difficult. You've got to, you've got to almost, you know like you do with your food, you do a food list, a food yeah. plan. You almost have to do a daily plan of what you are going to do and under no circumstances, well. well not just to stay well, to do things. To be busy. To be busy and you don't busy. deviate from that at risk of your own mental health. I mean I'm yeah. being serious here. Yeah. No, I agree. I mean what hit me was when, I, when we were away, of course, it's a different rhythm and everything. It's dictated to up to a point by you mm. guys, but then and one would think, oh, we'll just go back and go back to your own routine. It's not that simple. Our subs really like our walks in the park. We haven't done one for ages. Look at that. Look at that sky. Look, little fluffy clouds. Little, little fluffy mm. clouds. Don't you love then, little fluffy clouds? But then backing up at those thick ones, unfortunately. I'm the voice of Dean today. Yeah, actually, I'm asleep. <laughs> um, what is that building there, guys? It's a, an old sound stage. It was a it's it really odd. No, it's just a. It's an old stage, but you can see, all the, you can see all the old there. electrical. You see the, the the poles on either side. Mm. They're old speakers and lights. Mm. You're right. I felt a bit tired. I need a coffee. I think. You need oh. a coffee. We're you need coffee a light point. down. Oh. You need a coffee. You need a and coffee. I just need to keep bouncing. Yay. Fun, fun, fun. I just want to bounce like Tigger. I love coming to the park. It really clears my head. We're just, we're just talking about the Diego Maradona documentary, which, you know, as soon as I say that, I think lots of women are going to go, oh, football. It's by the same director as Amy. It's a remarkable portrait of just a, a, a rags to riches story and how fame and the fall from such a high, high perch of fame and success. But I have never, and I'm going to say this, put this out there, I was sobbing so much at the Are end yeah, that I okay. couldn't come out of the cinema for a good two minutes because I was really? so upset when he was in the rehab stage and talking about addiction. I just, oh, it was utterly heartbreaking. Utterly heartbreaking. My heart. He was like a god, wasn't he? Yeah. He's Argentinian, right? Yeah. yeah. And my heart just went out to every single addict and alcoholic, and it just, it was really humbling. It's really humbling. Well, do you remember when he touched the ball in? He well, the hand, yeah, of, hand God. of God. God. Yeah. And we never st and the Brits never stopped never forgave him. That. Never forgave him. So you saying you felt like you put weight on in Spain? I did. I did. Uh, probably only a couple of pounds, but I was eating sweets also. Look at the size of my yes. nose. You're getting the. I'm getting the slim nose slim syndrome. Nose. But the thing with the slim nose syndrome is it just suddenly looks bigger. Oh, look at your little <laughs> bullet head. It's not bullet head. Say hello, subs. Hello. Oh, we're back to subs. Are you missing Spain? Um, it was just well, the right. I think it. it I think it was just the right amount, actually. Oh, I, I do. I think I, I go do. a bit spare after a while around. No, a pool. I think I would have done, but yeah, that's yeah. Oh, it's listen. going from being with family or being. Yeah, with no, it's a bit hanging together. Good. That's the bit that was lovely. Yeah. Everyone got on so well, didn't we, Nads? Yeah, it was lovely. we did. We missed you <laughs> this week. <laughs> Funny little ears. Yeah. Oh, will you stop? <laughs> oh, there's someone else filming on social media, Mum. <laughs> I have to say, you both look incredibly well on Joe Hicks. Me, hey, Joe Wicks. Joe Wicks. Joe Hicks. Joe Who is Joe Hicks? Joe Hicks is he a comedian? He's Joe Wicks's brother. Bill Hicks. <laughs> Bill Hicks. <laughs> so, just been shopping in Sainsbury's in Crystal Palace. Got to the checkout. Wasn't getting too much. And as I stood there, I thought, shit, there were no bags, there were no plastic bags. What have I got? A bag for life. So, I don't know how Nadia's going to feel about another bag for life. Hey, we're not. We're, we're, we're not idiots. 
2019 yet. Another bag. I'm trying to work out how oh, old I, I am. Here. Look, Mark, come here. What? I was born in 1964, right? We can't make me any less than 65, right? Mom. 1964 to 74, 10 years. 74 to 84, 10 years. 84 to 94, 10 years. 94 to 2004, 10 years. 2004 to 2008. 2004 to 2014. 2014. Oh, that's where I'm going wrong. What were you doing? What? I was going to 2004. What? I'm, I'm lost. Mark, can't. <laughs> we, we made a, I thought she. I. This started off because I thought. I thought Nadia was 52, and it turns out she's not 52. No, at all. it turns out we don't know how old I am, no, so we were exactly. trying to work it out, counting in tens. Yeah, from 64 and we can't do it. Yeah. Take another bag for life. <laughs> what are we going to do? With what? Where did I go wrong with my counting then? 74, 84, 94, 2004, 2004, 2004, 2004, 2004, 2004, 2004, 2004, 2004, I'm so pissed off with you. You've got to put some in the boot. There are some in the boot. Oh, <laughs> Mark! Oh, my God. Mm. Oh. So what happened was, because we couldn't remember how old I was, and then Nanny Di said, work it out, and I said, oh, no, I'm not going to do that, because I tried this last week, and the only number I could get to was 64. <laughs> but you can't and I know I'm not, life. And I know I'm not 64. <laughs> But for it's, a minute, did you seriously think you could be? No, I just no, couldn't no, work out why I was getting to 64. Oh. Instead of, how I old you, am I? 54. 54. 54. That's why I was getting 64. You're going to be 55 this November. That this November. We to and that's... The first then we, why are you repeating things as if you've had the re realisation yourself? 54, 54. Yeah, 55. You're saying it like you've come, you haven't come to any of these but conclusions But Nanny died yourself. thought I was 52. I thought she was... I thought I was 52 until two weeks ago. Well, that's what... I don't know, but it just goes to show it's just a number. It doesn't matter, does it? It's just a big number. But it's not as big as 64. I don't know why I was going from 2004 to 2008. What was so hysterical was we went I've got discalculus, by the way. Six times and we kept Couldn't get it. When both Nanny Di and I are both discalculus, which is like dyslexia of numbers. I cannot understand numbers. Always been like that. I used to cry in maths because I just couldn't understand it. I just. Mental um, arithmetic was like enough to send me torture. wailing from the room. Torture. My poor mother anyway. who loved mental arithmetic. She must have been so disappointed. She just went was. mental. <laughs> we're, just have, we're just having a quiet moment just for a second um, on during the vlog and uh, during Saturday rather. We're getting a little bit blasé now, you see. Is that Housewives of New York County or whatever it is? It is. City. Um, we're getting a bit blasé. I've got a message from Jo. And I came in to sell Nads and she went, yeah, I know. No, only because I didn't want to click it open because I didn't want it to disappear. Right, okay, I'm going to turn this round. Should I turn this round or should we see my little face as I see it? Right, here we go. Oh, it just says hero. Hold it up. A sharp stick in the eye. I'm his hero, though. Mm -hmm. If I'm anyone's hero, I want to be Joe's hero. <laughs> what are you doing? You need to... Pull, pull. I can't lift. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah! That just came out of my ass. You came down and you said, "Killing Eve." Are you watching Killing Eve? You watching Killing Eve? The first episode. Now? Well, I said, yeah. Well, yes. Come on, be honest. So give us it between the eyes. Um, what did you think of it? Yeah, I don't know. The originality is gone. Ah. Mm. But it still might be good. My favourite character was that guy as well, and he's not, he's dead, he's isn't he? It's that time on a Saturday night, it's five to nine, 
the vlog's uploading. Nanny Di's eating probably her third duck breast. How's your duck, Mum? It's gorgeous. It's ducking brilliant. Um, she's done some gardening today. Not a lot, because she was quite tired, because she, she burnt the candle at both ends last night watching Love Island. <laughs> but it's that little point, isn't it? It's that sort of point of an evening where you just sort of think, I want to do so much more with the night, but there ain't so much more of the night left. And also, you know, Nanny Di any minute is going to collapse and go to bed. So Nadia's upstairs cleaning our filthy, disgusting, stinky, smelly dog, Chi-Chi. Because um, she just stinks. My nose is getting bigger. And I'm losing the suntan, so I'm getting baggy-eyed again. Gonna go straight out and roll in shit again. We've well got done, a bone babe. So we can put her in a I can put her in a yeah, I'll get a bone. Oh, she smells lovely. Aren't you a good girl? Oh, God, she's Gigi's just embarrassed, just staring. You want cake and chocolate? I want cake and chocolate. Got bad chocolate. Saturday night chocolate and okay. cake. I yeah. really want cake, chocolate, I want crisps. But Death what we have to do is, oats. we have to say, you are on your. Um, Joe, and you don't want to break your promises to yourself. And I've got my trek, and I can't be unfit. Yeah, but on treks you need things like Snickers bars. Yeah, but you need to be slim first because that is really hard if you're carrying weight. It's Saturday night, it's Father's every pound, Day tomorrow. Every pound, but tomorrow you're going to have a relax. Tomorrow you're going to have a nice something. What? Tell I me what know. I'm going to have. Tell what me. Would you like? Give me, give me the dream. <laughs> give me the, give me the vision. Make some hollandaise sauce. I'm losing bacon. my tan and my eye bags are coming back. Let's go on holiday again then. Oh, that's a good idea.